Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. The procedure continues. We're almost done. Many of you are feeling differences, some strange things, like that. Strange, in the sense that you cannot explain, are happening. And this is very good. Very good. Some have difficult things happening, but they know how to deal with them, because they know it is a time of growth, it is a time of cleansing, it is a time of renewal. Keep going my brothers. Don't be discouraged. The path is hard, but you will have the reward up front. So continue. Have faith. Carry on. Don't let yourself be put down by anything. Whoever criticizes you, whoever laughs at you, don't bother. Don't bother. Just follow the path. Don't try to convince anyone. Call once. There was no response? No problem. Don't insist anymore. Each one will wake up at the right time, within the time you think is right, right? Because time is running out, clock is ticking, and as I already said, the later you get treatment, the more difficult the treatment will be. So you're taking it easy. They are being treated slowly. Some don't even realize what's being done, and that's a very good thing. Today's topic is something that many have asked for and the time has come to talk about them, animals. First I'm going to talk about those who think that animals are on the planet just as decoration, and in decoration that is often disastrous. Realize this, everything on your planet existed in balance. When our Father Mother God created animals, you realize that there is a big difference in size and attitudes. There are animals that are carnivorous, there are those who are herbivores, and there are those who only eat insects. So, there is a balance. The largest ones, the vast majority, are predators of those that come further down. For what? To maintain balance, so that there are no excess animal populations. Because everything that is in excess creates imbalance. So, that's how nature is. This is how animals are in nature each with its own function. Then many will think, what function? Animals have no function. They are just there to disturb us. Unfortunately you think so, some of you think so. Animals came to balance nature on the planet. You are the intruders, not them. You invaded nature, which was their home, not the other way around. So how did you want them to react? that you killed them in abundance and they didn't react? That does not exist. So I repeat again, they are responsible for balance. You can find a simple ant, she sometimes bothers, yes, because the imbalance is installed. If ants were balanced in nature, they would not invade your homes. But as there is an imbalance, they invade. But everything has a meaning. Everything has a meaning. Everything has a balance. I'm not going to go on and on about the function of each animal here. That's not the case. You just need to understand that they are the balance of nature, period. You, man, the human race, felt entitled to destroy animals. Sometimes for pure pleasure, sometimes out of spite, just for the pleasure of killing, without any objective, just as a trophy. Another way you found was to eat your animals. This was incited in you, so that, precisely, you created the great imbalance that exists today. If you analyze it, most of the deforestation on this planet has one function, to create animals for slaughter. So look at the cycle that was created for destruction. You start consuming meat more and more. There, more and more animals are raised and more and more people are deforested in the name of having to raise more animals. And so the cycle was created, and the planet was being deforested. I already said in another video, deforesting the planet, with the story that people are hungry, is a lie. 
Because the planet continues to be deforested in the name of hunger, and people continue to be hungry, and the worst, you throw food away every day. But this is not the case. We're back to talking about animals. So let's think about this, the new world is coming. Many are worried about animals. Animals will evolve, just like you. They will go to the new world, for sure. Each one of them. None of them will stay here. None of them, even if it's the smallest, the smallest, the ones you don't even see. Everything will go to the new world, only in balance. Today there are some races on your planet that are completely out of control. This cannot be repeated in the fifth dimension. This will be controlled. So the animals will, yes, but within balance, within the balance that brings to Gaia, the balance of her nature. You in turn will inhabit Gaia with a new mindset, in which you will feel part of Gaia, and will respect animals. They will have a different stance, and then you will see how the animals will respect you, and will not invade your spaces, because you will not invade their space either. There will be balance. So this is the end of the animals that exist today in nature in relation to the new world. They will be taken, all, but in balance, in such quantity as to maintain balance. Now, your biggest concern is your pets. Those to which you devote the greatest love, as if they were a member of the family. My brothers, each one of you who adopts an animal and has love for it, cares for it, respects it, accepts it with all its flaws and jokes, you are special beings, because once again, remember the unconditional love I talked about for adoptees? This is also unconditional love, because you are adopting a creature that you don't know what you're going to go through with, it's not your blood, it's not your family, but you want it. They want to take care of that being, give a lot of love and affection. Of course, there are those who take it just to take it. They mistreat and transform animals into monsters, just to satisfy their own desires. These are not included in this group I mentioned, because they have a different mentality and vibrate differently. I want to talk about those who have a strong love for these animals. So remember this, everyone who has pets, don't worry. They will all be taken. All. Now, there is a small however. You were used to domesticating some animals and locking them in cages. For you, this is a, it's a cute thing, because you hear the animal sing, and you think it's their happy. Every song of a bird inside a cage is a song of pain, not a song of happiness, for he is a prisoner, he is not a free bird. So, in advance, I'm warning you, not just birds, but any type of bird or animal that is caged, trapped, a prisoner of the place where it lives, will not be taken. They will be released. There will be no prisons in the new world. That kind of thing won't happen there. So whoever has these animals, release them into the wild while there is still time, so that the pain is less, because they will lose one by one, before the passage to the new world, for they will not. Now, if you release him into the wild, he will have a chance to go, as he will be free, and will be part of that balance I mentioned. Ah, my archangel, but he no longer knows how to run after food because he has lived in prison all his life. It's a choice you'll have to make, either you let him go and let him turn around, because hell turn around, because it's in his nature. At first he may not know what to do, but he has companions in nature who will teach him how to behave. Release it while there is still time, otherwise you will lose it. And all the other animals that are incarcerated will not be taken away because the prison they already live in has already made these animals practically dead inside, because there is such sadness, such pain, that they will not be able to withstand the transition to the new world. So they won't. They will be released and will be very happy as energy, to later return again. I'm not saying they won't go to the fifth dimension. They will not go in the physical body, but as energy yes, they will go there. 
because animals don't have anything to learn to move on to the new world. So they will go as energy, and they will come back in new animals in the future, but they will not go there in the physical body, because they cannot take it, such as the internal sadness in their hearts. Ah, my brothers, you have much to learn. Very. So I already explained it to you in relation to domestic workers who live free and domestic workers who live in prison. Now I'm going to talk about the last group, those that you consider to be domestic animals, but who have no owner, who are roaming the streets, without a home, without food, true beggar animals. These will also go, they will be taken, because despite not having had a human who adopted them, or loved them, they are beings and they will be taken within that balance that has already been mentioned, and they will live in nature, but with all the abundance they deserve, because there will be no shortage, there will be no lack of anything in the new world. So they will be very happy there. So, my brothers, I hope I have answered the desires of many of you. But there is still another point that I need to talk about, in relation to the animals that were created for the attack whose behavior is exactly the same as the behavior of their owners, who, not satisfied with being angry people, pass this on to the animals too. These will not be taken, because neither will their owner. So he will keep his owner company. All those who were created with lack of love, with the aim of attacking, of hurting others, whose owners emanate the same vibrations, will remain with their owners, they will keep them company in the other world, not in the new world. So, my brothers, I hope I have been clear enough. Have calmed their hearts. Another thing, you don't need to put their name on the list, because each animal creates a connection with its owner, and when the owner is taken, when the owner passes to the new world, all the animals that are tied to his heart will automatically go with him. There is no need to make a list or put a name. None of that. They are already included with you, they are part of yourself, they are part of everything that will go with you. So don't worry, they're all there with you. I am Archangel Michael. And I love, and I cheer, and I clap, when one of you adopts an animal.